bitches. You guys are listening just to shit. Oh, wait. Hold on. Fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bitches? You guys are listening to Dense's Shit Show. Ah, get you down. What's up, hoochies? Welcome back to another episode of Dempsey's Absolutely Shit Show. I have no idea if this is going to go north or south. I have the amazing Adam. Adam Hamburg. That's, that's I thought it was Hamburger yeah. his last name. <laughs> Oh, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for coming on Hooch and like spending your day just going out of your way to be here with us. Thanks for having me. Of course. I got music to promote. Anybody anybody invites me on, I'll be there. That's right. We got music to promote, okay? I got got a couple ideas later that you're going to serenade me with your your guitar. Deal. I want to push you around. Just like, just full on Matchbox 20, like. No, it's going to be your, okay. but it's going to be that kind of okay. vibe. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just think of Matchbox 20 in your head. Matchbox 20 <laughs> intensity? <laughs> intensity. I love your outfit. Those are some nice boots. Uh, thank you. Where did you get those? DSW? Nordstrom Rack. Ooh. Probably eight years ago. Eight years ago? Yeah, they've been they've been around the block. You've had that? Let me see the soles. Lift those things up. You don't want to see the soles? Big old... Look at that right there. Honestly, they look pretty damn they look good. Pretty good. Okay. The bottom of those uh, shoes could tell a story right now. Yeah, they definitely could. Where have they? Because because they have because they have like a mouth, right? A like mouth. You see the, it's like puppet and puppet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Crack surprised the they haven't like you know just like uh, full on falling apart. Full on fucking falling apart. Yep. Look at my boots. What do you think? Those are awesome. If I could wear boots to my knees, I would. Got them on sale at Walmart. <laughs> Did you really? No. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I was like creeping on you. I absolutely love your vibe. Thank you. Your music. Thank it you. is like if you want boating season music, that boating is it. Boating season music. Boating okay. season music. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, I'll take yeah. That. It's a vibe, dude. It's I, summertime. I, it's it is summertime, but before you know it. Winter's around the corner, and we're all going to be depressed as fuck. Mm. Do you thrive in the summer or in the winter? Neither. I thrive in the fall. Oh. College football on the TV. Oh, you're, oh. Smo- smoking something on the grill, man. Spooky. Oh, leaves changing. Leaves changing. That middle ground between when you can wear shorts but also long sleeves. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm all that. Like a Florida man <laughs> where they wear fucking jeans and flip-flops. It yeah. doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, I don't mess with Florida man. He's crazy. I never understood that style when you put skinny jeans and flip-flops. Just cover up the dogs. Just <laughs> Co- cover up the dogs. Nobody's trying to see the dogs, okay? For free? <laughs> For free? <laughs> so I, what, go sorry. ahead. I was say, when I was in third grade, I moved from I moved from Arkansas to Mississippi. And in Arkansas... Not much nobody, of a change there. Nobody, no, not, much, not much of a scene change. Not much of a fucking although, change there. Although, <laughs> uh, <laughs> style, stylistically, nobody wore flip-flops in Arkansas when I was a kid. But then when I moved to Mississippi, like, sandals were the thing. And I hated feet. And so, like, moving to you Mississippi, like, I'm not a fan of feet. And, and like, everybody everybody was wearing flip-flops, and I was grossed out. I remember that. I wanted you to tell me right now if I got some cute feet. <laughs> okay? Wait. I We're have yet to right have now. a pedicure. Look at them. Oh, things. my gosh. Mm-hmm. Look, those aren't, those aren't ugly. I got ugly feet. I think it's a self-hatred thing. Yeah. Tell me right Those out. are pretty feet. Look at this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For free, and that will be 20 bucks. <laughs> This ain't, only, <laughs> this, this, this ain't only fans. Okay? Yeah, yeah, that'll be twenty dollars. <laughs> okay, so Mississippi. So how is that growing up? Are they just as wild as like Floridians? I can only imagine. Le, Mississippi. Has, so I kind of have like a dual citizenship thing between Arkansas and Mississippi. All my family's from Arkansas. That's where I would say I'm from. From. Uh-huh. Um, but I lived in Mississippi from when I was like nine to eighteen. I don't know if I'd say it's wild. It's like low key wild. Low key wild. Yeah, I it's like, like it's like they're. I don't know. They they don't wear their wild on their sleeve, right? I feel like Mississippi people are just fucking batshit crazy. Honestly, <laughs> down in the like you know out in the woods out and in the stuff. Holler. Yeah, out yeah. in the holler. I feel like they're just just as wild as like you know Floridians. And we were talking about this. You were wondering where I'm from. I'm from good old Plant City. Plant. Where is Plant City? It's like um, if you look at a map. And bumfuck like swamp. That's where all your strawberries are from. 
Okay. okay. Seasonal. Strawberry, strawberry country out there. Mm-hmm. Right. I grew up on like near strawberry fields. Strawberry wine. But yeah, I grew up on, on strawberry fields. So that was interesting, my childhood. How about mm-hmm. that? Picking strawberries. That's all I ate as a kid and oranges. Yo. Mm-hmm. What did you eat as a kid? Uh, don't say mac and cheese. Snack cakes. I don't the know. The fuck is a snack cake? <laughs> like zebra cakes. A what? Swiss cake rolls. Little Debbie's. That's what I ate a lot. So what the hell is a Swiss cake roll? You don't know what a Swiss cake? It's like you see them at the gas station, like the little oh, little you're chocolate. at the gas station oh, yeah. food. Oh, yeah. You like them hot station. dogs spinning on the uh, the carousel? You know what? For uh, good two days, just you get, marinating. You, get, <laughs> you don't you know how long. Poison. You get food poisoning one time for one of those. You don't go back. Oh, have you gotten that. food poisoning? Oh, yeah. Oh. Not from not from uh, not from the hot dog roller. I had a ham sandwich one time. That was from a gas station. From a gas station. It was a. It was, was it a Circle a good, K? No, I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember. It was a long, it was a long time ago. Blocked I, it out. I'm a racetrack girly. Are you? Mm-hmm. Find they, me at a racetrack <laughs> with the boiled peanuts and the pizza. <laughs> Find me right there, okay? Boiled peanuts. You you do know about Mississippi. Uh-huh. Yeah. Me and my daughter, and we're, we'll get into that. Man, we will <laughs> snack on some boiled peanuts. Oh, and man. I actually just made a video not too long ago. I trust, there is no man that I trust more than a strange man with a beard Selling boiled peanuts out the side bed of his Silly. truck. All right. I know them some bitches are about to be bomb. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how long they've been in that pot or cooler, the red cooler that yep. he had them in, but they were so damn good. So damn good. I'm surprised I'm still living. Shit. But he gave Man. me a good deal. It was only like, what, 10 bucks? 10 bucks for a giant thing. He double bagged it too. And oh, I was like, <laughs> slurping on him. I love boiled peanuts. <laughs> that was a journey we just went on right there. Huh? That was a journey we just went on. Yeah, right? you're talking about food poisoning yeah. and random shit that you've been eating. So I take food from strangers off the side of the road. Okay? Not ashamed of it. Not you, got, you can't pass up on a good deal like that, dude. Can't pass up on a good deal like that. I'm as frugal as the next almost kin. You're frugal? Yeah. Not me. Are you? I'm not frugal at all. Listen, I grew up poor shit, poor shit. You give me some money, I can spend it just like that, okay? <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm still freaking learning. Yeah. Well, tell me, you have, uh, you know, two two kids. Two That's kids. amazing. How's yeah. That, how's that going for you? It's the best, man. It's the best, isn't it? It's the it? very best. It's the best. It's- do, you, do you, like, lose your shit sometimes? It's okay. How's yeah, parenthood? Be honest. We're honest here on Hooch. Don't hold back. Bedtime is the worst. Bedtime is the bedtime is the worst. Do they sleep with you or in their own? Oh, uh, man, no, absolutely not. Really? No, no shame. No shame in the game, but but I, I can't. I can't do it. My little monkey still sleeps with me. It's okay. It's okay. No shame in the game. But I just I just couldn't do it. I just I need I need somebody to snuggle each yeah. night other than my damn cat. Yeah, that's fair too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I need somebody to snuggle me other than my three cats I got at fucking home. I'm Dude. gonna be single for the rest of my life. <laughs> the bedtime thing though. The bedtime thing though. They they kind of like the energy feeds off each other. You know, bath time they get all riled up and then and then they turn into stray cats and they're just like energy is just yeah. just wild. And Second then, wind. And then trying to like bring them back in so mm-hmm. that they can actually fall asleep so that you can have maybe one or two hours of just before what, you before you go to bed. What do you do when your kids are asleep? Oh man. What does depends on the night. Oh. Uh, depends on the night. <laughs> depends on the night. I have to ask this. You're you're married, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are you and the wife doing? Are, I don't know, man. I don't know. What are we uh, doing when the kids are asleep? We, <laughs> might watch a show. Playing Candyland? We're playing Candyland. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Candyland. I love it. I love it. Well, I heard you po- and mommy playing Candyland Land. last night. <laughs> uh, yeah, Daddy won. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy won. <laughs> Daddy won last night. Oh my god. Uh, well, oh I'm, my god. I'm glad you're enjoying, you know, <laughs> parenthood and all that, you know. And I have to ask this, like, juggling your workflow and parent, you know, there's always like, I, I still ha- uh, suffer from this, like separating that boundary. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like juggling two freaking lives. I'm this person, but I'm also this person. So how are you dealing with that, dude? Are you just? Man, I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing with it. I th- I think about it a lot, um, 
there's just no way to f- there's no way to feel like you're killing it. No, and I think that's I think that's part I think that's part of the the trouble of being a a grown person in the year of our Lord twenty twenty three. I know that's Cause right. Because because it's like it's like everything about life pulls us out of the house, right? Like you got to go somewhere else to make the money. You got you got to got to go to a job to make the money. Um, for me, you go on the road. You I don't know, and then and then also the kids have school and the kids have sports and the kids have like all mm-hmm. these different things. So 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 either you're running all together to these different things or you're separating. You're going out, and so like when you when you're at home, you, you got to network you, somehow. You got, exactly, because exactly. you're an artist. So yeah. how, when do you find do you, time to network? You, time you know what I mean? Yeah, I ne- s- network network is hard for me. That's, network. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Got a damn network. Yeah. Well, it seems like you're doing the damn thing. Like, you know, recently you just got like on TikTok and everything. Do you hate TikTok? Do I, you it's, hate- it's not it's not my favorite. Do you I've, hate I've had TikTok? To, I've had to get I've had to get some help from from some folks who like really know how to talk to the machine. Uh-huh. You know, with the with the hashtags and the mm-hmm. hashtags and the. Can I be whatnot. honest with you? Yep. Hashtags don't mean shit. No, they don't mean anything. But but they don't but mean like damn a damn shit. Okay. <laughs> but there's but there's like there's like a process of you know there's like reasons for posting different times and how often you post and all that stuff. Like all that stuff is just just beyond me. And and like the thought of like having to wake up and do one every day. So kind of like the the what we've arrived at is like we we'll do a content shoot once or twice a month, mm. and then we have once like or twice a month, once or twice a month, and then and then we have like like bite sized pieces that we can post throughout the month, uh-huh. and then like if I have something to drop in there that's a little more personal in between there, I could do that on stories and all that stuff. But it keeps me it keeps me from like losing my mind and like hating it. I'm a little manic. I yeah? posted eight TikToks yesterday. Hey, good for you. I was a little manic, dude. Good and for it was you. just random shit too. Yeah. Like just I, I don't even like me What's brushing favorite, my teeth. What's your favorite thing to post? Honestly, my just regular my my like damn life. My yeah. life is so comical. For yeah. instance, yesterday, you know, I got a twin brother. He caught a fucking wild pig out in Nashville. Yes. I didn't even Where know we it? had wild pigs in Nashville, okay? Well, there's wild pigs everywhere. So it's just funny talking about the damn story and showing this pig that my brother named it Shrek, took it fucking home, put it near the chicken oh coop. My and God. I'm like, you have to be fucking kidding me. We don't get much rednecker than this, okay? That's going to be some good Catching a damn... Fu- Throw that thing back. That is a wild boar. Throw it back. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know, I don't even think I'd want to make sausage out of it because that sucker's been eating out of people's garbage it, cans, you know? Once it's you amazing. name it, you cannot eat it, okay? It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Once you name it, you can't eat it, okay? Disagree. Oh, and tonight we're having Shrek, uh, <laughs> you know, pickles. <laughs> so I think, you know, when it comes to, you know, I'll have my manic days. Like one day I'll post one day yeah. and then the next day I'm posting like eight freaking videos. I mean, I have two accounts. So, you know, I yep. started this at like in 2021, you know yep. what I mean? It just depends on the day if I'm feeling crazy or manic or just telling, you know, funny stories about my life because it's so damn comical. Yep. I can't make it up. Yeah. Like only this shit happens to me. Like that one time my a, a seagull took my damn retainer. You can't make oh this shit up. Oh my gosh. You can't make it up. amazing. Oh, oh, did you see that? that? No, I did not. That's oh. incredible though. Well, tell me a funny story. Your life has to be like somewhat interesting. Oh, well, come on! But, but lay, what is, lay it on me. I need a. I need a uh, besides I need a, you and your wife playing genre. Candyland at night. <laughs> <laughs> I, need a, I need a genre of story though. I need a a uh, genre. A genre, yeah. Anything interesting on the road? Like, what are we doing on the road? You know, the guys on the bus. Like, what are we? What are we doing on the road? Like, what do men do? Oh, uh, what do men do on the road? Uh, I can, listen, I am not very exciting on the road. What? I'm boring. You in I'm bed by boring. nine? You know, like I leave and I've I've vacation. It's kind of like vacation because I don't have like constant overstimulation. Kids yelling, blah blah blah, et cetera, et cetera. And so, like when I go on the road, a lot of times I'm just like very zen about. You're things. in bed by fucking nine. I, <laughs> I'll <laughs> st- I'll stay out late, but I'm like, I'm I'm telling you. Do you mind if I vape in here? I don't mind. This is your show, girl. Do you, you do mind you. if I? Good for you. You do don't my, vape, right? Do you, mind, do you mind if I drink coffee so I can stay alive for the rest of the day? Yeah, I don't. I don't mind. Do you want another one? <laughs> do you want another one? You don't vape at all, right? No, I don't. Good it's for my, you. Not, this is not my bag. Good freaking for you. It is an addiction. Okay, every is ten it? minutes, I'm like, "Where's the hell's my va- vape?" Mama needs her vape. Mama, mama needs her vape. <laughs> Hold on, one more hit and then I'm done. One more hit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was so deathly sick a couple of weeks ago, and I shit you not, I had to like force myself to put the damn vape down. Yeah. Oh my god, it was terrible. Did you have COVID? Huh? Did no, you have COVID? it wasn't fucking COVID. <laughs> it was a second like um, sinus infection. Okay? Oh man. I had, sinus infection. I, I had to like express everybody. I'm like, I swear I'm not sick. <laughs> you know, coughing up a damn storm and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's only COVID if you test for it now. That's it's what not they fucking say. COVID. Okay, maybe it was the bird flu. I'm pretty Pro- sure it was the monkey bird pox. flu. Huh? Monkey pox could be monkey pox. Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. They tried to make it a thing. They tried to tell us that monkey pox is coming. Monkey pox didn't is come. Is that where thankfully. a guy was fucking a monkey or something, and then he got the? <laughs> Is that what that was? Hey, listen, I don't know where it came from. I just, I just, so my wife, my wife's, my wife's a PA. (laughs) Yeah. Can we we bleep that out? So So my wife works in medicine and, uh, and and they were they were gearing up. They were they were scared that monkeypox was going to be a thing, like COVID was a thing. There was a period where they thought that it was really going to. Should I be concerned? I don't think so. I I, it feels like they got whatever the whatever the fear was I feel like they got under control. I mean, a couple of days ago, we lost oxygen in Nashville. Did you see that shit? What? Low air, what was it? A low air condition, air, air quality. I, I had it like, I was like, freaking myself out. I was like, are we, is the world fucking ending? And every interstate sign, it said low air quality, reduced travel. Like, what? You didn't see that? I, I was out of town, but. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, well, I, I was I must here have been that a, day. I was having a panic attack and turning on every air purifier in my damn house. I thought I was going to have to go to the, you know, a little clinic and be like, can I please get an inhaler or an oxygen tank or go down to my grandma's house and steal the damn oxygen yeah, tank? I was ter- terrified as hell. Granny, let me get a hit of that. Let me get a hit of that. The vape ain't working. I need your oxygen. <laughs> your, my vape's not working. I need the oxygen tank. People are going to be vaping oxygen by this know, time like, next year. <laughs> Like, it doesn't make any damn sense. You know, I vape, like, anytime I'm, like, in the, uh, I go to, like, you know, uh, to a sick visit or something when oh, yeah. I was sick, I'm in that bitch hitting my vape. They look at me like I'm fucking just, they never call me out, too. They just let me do my damn thing. I'm just laying there, like, hitting the damn thing. At least they're just silently judging you, that's all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's oh, all yeah. silent. This fucking bitch. <laughs> okay, no wonder she's fucking sick, you know what I mean? So, you know, when the kids go to sleep and, you know, a candy lands over, what keeps you up at night like what's your thoughts what man just hit that vape and just went for it uh-huh. uh, what keeps me up at night oh boy it's a fickle business right pickle business a fickle business oh it's pickle business we're in and hey that's a hot topic right hot now time. i didn't know pickles were so hot right now pickles are hot right now huh they're no. selling sweatshirts with pickles on them like no other on fucking tiktok shop i have no i'm in idea. the wrong fucking business <laughs> <laughs> i swear y'all ever fucking seen it Nope. Uh, I'm in the wrong damn business. Yeah, what keeps you up the at pickles. night? <laughs> pickle business. The pickle business is hard, y'all. Um, well, I just recently just wow. found out a cucumber is a pickle. So that blew my fucking mind. I was like, what? Cucumber's a future that's a, pickle. That's a different story. We don't need a... I'm a dumbass. We don't need to keep the dick of <laughs> future, future pickles. That's what cucumbers are. Um... What keeps me up at night? Uh, I don't know. You just you just hope that the music that you make is good enough for people to like it, and you just hope that you got a job this <sighs> time next year. That's literally that's literally it. I think that's every day that I wake up. That's yeah. not what's keeping me up at night. No, uh, uh-uh. uh, keeps me up at night. I can't <sighs> pay for college or whatever that thing is. I don't know this. Those student it, loans have been sitting in deferment for a minute. I need to fucking start paying on them bitches. You probably, you probably should. September, <laughs> yeah, this is, September's going to hit a lot of people like a hammer. They are, they're looking at me like, this fucking bitch is almost 30 years old. I need to start paying on those things. Oh <laughs> Where'd you go to school? Where'd you go to college? Huh? Where'd you go to college? Believe it or not, my resume is pretty impressive. Hey, I don't doubt that. Go ahead and guess what I've done. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be <laughs> fucking surprising. You, uh... You've been hitting that vape. That's what you've done. Where, 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 where'd you go to college? I dropped out of college. Did you? Yeah, but, uh, but now, you know, I'm certified in some things. Certified in some things? So I, got, I got some certifications. Massage therapy. But I know you lying. I ain't going <laughs> to fucking massage like, no, what? No. I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not, a, I'm, not a hu- you, what, I'm not a hugger. I'm not just, a hugger? Mm, okay. Mm, it's fair. Mm. <laughs> go ahead. Keep guessing. 
<laughs> Keep guessing. This could, get, uh, this, this could get real. And I swear to God, if you say real like. insulting. I know. Go That's ahead. What, what tell say? me, what please. You, what insult are you certified me. In? Insult you me. You are a certified nurse anesthetist. Nurses, what is what? Nurse anesthetist. I, I can't even say, say that. What is it? A nurse so you put You put people to sleep. It's like it's like a it's like an anesthesiologist. anesthesiologist? It's like, That's like it's seven like years of for... fucking schooling. I call, I dropped out of college. Oh, okay. You didn't say when. <sighs> I was thinking you, maybe you got your CRNA and then went and then dropped out when you're going for your. I MD, tried. You know? That shit was hard being but a single was. mama. No, I worked in orthopedics, maternal fetal medicine, Come on, girl. pediatrics. I've done it all, man. I've seen some shit. I bet you have. Uh huh. I was a bounty hunter. Uh, <laughs> fucking. I worked in finances. Jim's the uh, bounty hunter. I I'd s- watch that show. I'd watch that show in a second. <laughs> Me as a bounty I'd hunter. I DVR the it hell was, out of that. Till this day, I swear I'm like terrified if I go out to like Walmart or something. I'm like, you, you bitch, you set me up. And I'm like, I swear to God, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. That was a different blonde uh, girl with octagonal a, glasses. That was a crazy ass time, me being a bounty hunter. I ain't going to lie. I look you, back. How does one get, I, I guess that's like there's two careers in Florida, right? It's like either no, financial no, no, it was all here. or bounty hunter. No, it was all here. It was all here. Like, it was all here. I moved right. to Tennessee when I was like 15. It was okay. all here. Uh, honestly, a pretty woman will get you every time. Hey. But I'll tell you what, they were not expecting me in the booking room when I showed up I between the were. glass wall. Yeah. But yeah, I showed up with the paperwork and I'm like, all right. Who's the co-signer? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you got the money? Got them. They had no idea. They looked at me like this fucking bit. <laughs> no, but I've done it all and everything, but I never felt like I fit in. So uh, that's how I started TikTok and the entertainment and all that. It's fucking wild. Went from shotgunning beers to, yeah, now I'm here run talking it, to you. the country music media conglomerate yeah i know and it's trying to help artists like yourself you know listen to this you know listen to this song it's amazing you know not fitting in is a hell of a drug not fitting in yeah yeah dude i I I never fit in i feel like that's where that's where all good music comes from all good music comes from are you talking about never fitting in at a job no i'm talking about never fitting in in just life in life yeah no, I think that's just like finding yourself, you yeah. know, just like, you know, either you don't like me or you do like me, you know, you know, pick and choose your battles, darling. For sure. Pick and choose your battles. So, you know, uh, what's keeping you up at night is that I can tell you, uh, baby sea turtles keep me up at night. Baby sea turtles. Are they what ever going to make it to the ocean? You know what I mean? Is a bird going to snatch them up? You know, I wonder about those things. Maybe sea turtles. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Ooh. Questioning my whole fucking life right there. Yep. Yep, that'll get you. I don't like hot dogs. I think they're disgusting. It's I fair. Mean, and then wait until it's 2 a.m. and I'm drunk on Broadway and I need a glizzy though. And you hit the racetrack. Mm-hmm. Ew, rollers. no. No hot dogs from no? racetrack. Oh, Ew. Man. How long has it been on the conveyor belt? Who Circulating. Knows? Who knows? i tell you, <laughs> best, best hot dog in Nashville though? What? Daddy's dogs. Oh, duh. Those That's things are dude. like 12 foot long. That's my dude. When he handed me that thing, I was like, I got to eat this. What? <laughs> of course I videoed it, me eating it. <laughs> of course I videoed it. So, you know, I don't know. How did you notice that you could start singing? Like, did you just pick up a guitar and let's try this out? Yeah, no. Like, not at all. So my, my dad's a preacher, mom's a piano player. Uh, in the church so growing up that's just what we did that was like our family thing i love it yeah and you you talk about not fitting in music was kind of like the first place that ever made me feel like i i kind of fit in okay i got a thing you know i got a thing i got a thing i got a thing i, I, I can sing i grew up with my mom in the car singing fucking pat benatar and whitney houston yeah that's what i'm talking about that's what i got uh-huh. yeah. and i was like all right i love music yeah <laughs> i love music so how long have you been doing it like I've been in Nashville for 10 years. I, I started making trips about 12. 10 year mark. 10 year mark. 10 year mark. 10 year mark. All right. And then so I, I started making trips about 12 years ago from Arkansas. I'd come like three, four days at a time and write songs and meet people. And that was kind of the first time I was like, I, you mean this could be like an actual career? You yeah. Mean I could actually like do this? Mm-hmm. And, and it was awesome. It, it, I don't know. Did you meet your wife on Broadway? I did not. We we've been uh-huh. married a minute. We got married fresh out of college. Oh, so we got you're we, one of those. I'm one of those. We got <sighs> married. We got married when I was 23. Yeah, uh, man. So we've been married for 15 years. So you did it right. You went to school and you know got married, had the kid. 
we, kids yeah, and yeah. all that. Dude, yeah. my sister did that. Me, I'm like the black sheep of the family. I, I dropped out of college, <laughs> had my daughter, and now I, I you hey. know what I mean? They're, 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 they're just surprised that I made it this far. You're okay? killing it. Yeah, they're just fucking surprised. Well, congratulations. Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. So do you sing, like, um, when you pick up the guitar, do you, like, sing to your kids and everything? Or are they like, wow, that's amazing. We're just now getting glimmers of 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 stuff where, like, the kids think, oh, that's cool. My like, daughter hates my singing. <laughs> Does she? Oh, man, that's a that's a bummer. Yeah, she hates my scene. She's like, ah. The, the closest the closest that uh, that we've gotten so far is when I go on the road, sometimes I'll, I'll bring stuff back. And when I go to Chicago, they have those, like, popcorn places like uh, Chicago. Nuts, nuts, on, nuts on Clark, you know, is that what it's called? Nuts, Chicago. Know, or wh- whatever. They have, they have these, like, famous popcorn places, and I would always bring back cheese popcorn, and that would be the coolest part about the – the cheese job popcorn. For them. Che- did you bring cheese popcorn, Daddy? That's that, it. Well, that's new. I've never heard that before. Che- yeah. Cheesy popcorn. Cheesy popcorn, man. Excuse me. I'm looking for my vape. <laughs> Where the there, it oh, is. there it is. Found it. There it is. Hey, I'm going to toss you this book. Oh, my All right. Gosh. I keep the $100 that I found. You know, this is just going to be one of your vocabulary words. Vocab- you know, if somebody, like, pisses you off one day. Okay. And you're just need, you know, instead of, this is just because going to become one of your vocabulary words. Creative so you, cursing. Mm-hmm. All right. So you flip this part first, okay. and f- you flip this part second, okay? <laughs> All right, heads up. One, two, three. All right. So say you're on the road, and then you're just like, man, that guy was just up. Uh, what, what is it? Go ahead, flip what it. What is it? Close your eyes and oh flip them. It's gosh. funny if you close your eyes and flip it. <sighs> that Fuck. guy was a real jerk hole. What? No, come on. You could do better than that. Close I your eyes and keep, keep a jerk hole. I've, I've said that plenty of times. Yeah, I can't, I can't. <laughs> jerk hole. Oh, jerk hole. Oh, good, that jerk that hole. That's one. just in my vocabulary. All right. <laughs> Dude's a real douche dumpster. Douche dumpster. <laughs> that's, oh, that's what I'm going to start that's pretty, saying. That's pretty douche, good. douche dumpster. I love the, I love the, uh, you know, the, the repetition of douche dumpster. Douche. Uh, say that, that again. Word? Say it real like. Do, do, can do, you do, say do, it in douche. a deep voice in the mic? Douche dumpster. No, that was whispering. You gotta. You gotta fucking. Really, really. Douche dumpster. You still whispered it. <laughs> <laughs> you still whispered it, dude. There's some crazy things oh in there. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's oh some. My there's gosh. some crazy things the, in there. I, I got the. I feel like. I, I feel like. I gotta hide I got that the, book from my kid. Oh. <laughs> So give us another wow, one. Give us okay. another one. All right. We got jerk hole, douche dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy now, baby. You're on hinge. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> hold on. <laughs> you got to close your eyes and do it. You got to close your eyes and do it. That's what makes it funny. What is it? Tit lips. <laughs> oh, tit lips. You fucking tit lip. <laughs> All right, tit lips, get in. We're leaving. <laughs> get your ass in, tit lips. We're leaving. Uh, so now you can take that vocabulary oh gosh, on the I'm, road with I'm gonna, you. I'm going to save that one. I'm going to save that one. You can't have that book. That's mine. <laughs> you can't have that. That's fucking mine. <laughs> tit lips is a win. That's a... Uh... That's something you call your buddy when he's being stupid. Right, there you go. Right. Today, I promise you, you're going to yeah. be calling somebody a tit lip. Oh, I like tampon gosh. chumps. Tampon what? I call people tampon chumps. Oh, chumps. Uh-huh. Like, like said or chomps. dildo bagger. Dildo. You fucking dildo bagger. <laughs> I can keep I going even, on for I don't these. I even know what days. that means. Can we edit these words out a little, like put a bleeping sound over them, like so we don't get like you know flagged a little bit? <laughs> I would. I would prefer if my if my mom not watched this. That would be great. Uh-uh. Well, hi mom. No. Wave to the camera. Oh. Hi mom. I, I I swore for the first time on this album. Oh. And there's a I have a, a I I say the word shit in shit. Yep. In the in the in the kind of like focus track of the album the track's called Mad for a Minute. And so it's in the chorus so it says it three times which means I got tagged with the explicit label and never in my life have I felt like such a true gangster. 
true gangster. Yep. Okay. Well, um, if you hang out with me <laughs> for at least, I don't know, two hours, uh, I got a sailor's mouth and yeah. you know, I can't help it. Uh, you know, and my daughter knows not to say it. She'll even correct me. She yeah, goes, yeah. that is a bad That's a bad word, word. Mommy. You know, um, but oh, wow. How do you feel? How does that make you feel after saying the word shit? <sighs> Right. Because that's my dog taking a shit right yeah. there. <laughs> okay, on the logo. It's a handsome a dog. Uh huh. Now, how does it make you feel? How does it, it make you feel? It it uh. It you feel like, like I don't mind, I don't mind you know like I don't mind saying it. I don't lean into the profanity a lot. It's not yeah. it, it's not really my vibe. But I feel like for that particular song, it like needed it needed it, it needed that like strength of language in the course. Just you know because, I mean? you know, I talk like that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. No. Okay. I just, I, I can't help it. You know what I mean? Like we're <laughs> just, it's just a lifestyle that I grew up living. Okay. I can't help it. All right. And I feel like I've calmed down a little bit. It's like when you go out to the PTA meetings and stuff, you have to like put on your, Oh Yeah. Hey y'all, yeah. how you doing? You know what I mean. There's a there's a boundary, you know. Yep. I, there, you know, it's not like I'm two different people, but you know, it's like being respectful and then obviously Absolutely. out in public and everything. You got to know when to turn it on, turn it off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I say I probably say the, that word too much or the f word. It's a problem. As long as, that and my vaping, <laughs> that and my vaping, I got a problem. It's it's bad. It's bad. So other than like when you're going on the road, like and everything, what else is happening? Like, are you going on the road soon? Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm headed to LA this weekend. Um, oh. We're kind of finishing up the tour. I did just like a, it's like a small club headlining thing for like to support the new record, the doing hotel cafe and then, uh, then playing Chicago at Lincoln hall. Hell um, yeah. Yeah. Have you um, ever played here on Broadway? I haven't done Broadway, Bro Broadway, you know, kind of tend to be like when I started, it was more of like the cover kind of stuff. And that's never been like what I, right. what I enjoy is my, I enjoy like the songwriting. Like sharing those. I do, mm -hmm. I do a lot of Bluebird. I do a lot of listening room when I'm the in town. Bluebird. Bluebird's the best. Those people are some of my very favorite people in town. I feel like I got lip gloss on my teeth. You definitely do. Oh my God. No, my I'm just kidding. Pineapple. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Anytime you see a hair extension out. Okay, showing, or, you know, I got to, like, you know, something's just showing pineapple, okay? Uh, okay, that's the, that's the. That's the safe lip, word. Lip gloss safe word. Pineapple. Lip gloss safe word. All right, yeah. I'm going to give you one of my creative cases. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. Scum munch. Scum munch. Scum munch. You damn scum munch. <laughs> I feel like that could have gone a lot worse than. I feel like you got off light right there. Pube. Oh, okay. Oh, right. man. That's a good, strong starter word. <laughs> I'm definitely calling somebody this later. Pube beater. Oh. <laughs> Fucking oh pew gosh. beater. You pew beater. Oh my goodness. I can't. I absolutely cannot. That's a so, that's a strong that's a strong other handle than right there. Doing all these amazing things and you coming out with, you know, um honestly A record that slaps. Your I record your that <laughs> fucking slaps. You wanna know the song that I absolutely love right now? Tell me. I'ma tell you. Give me a minute. Must not love it that much. Where, what group chat did I put it in, guys? Stop sending me fucking, stop making group <laughs> chats. I swear, it's like we got like 10 of them. I'm fucking over it. Like, oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Come on. Like, I'll vibe to my own song. I don't care. That is my, huh? <laughs> I'll vibe to my own song. I'm not uh, too oh, proud. Do you listen to your own music in your own car? Uh, yes, from time to time. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, get, get have, lost in your own, I in the smell of your own farts. Uh, and, you know, I have friends that are country artists and I, I'm, I'm your biggest cheerleader and they're like, can I play, you know, this song? Baby, you do you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You play that damn song. You play that damn song. So what do you do in the car? Like, do you drive in silence? Pick Ooh. your nose? Um, I drive in silence a lot. Really? I, I do. 
I do. Are you it's one, good thinking time. Are you one of those that doze off and you don't even know that you're driving and you don't know how the hell you made it to that location? Oh, man. <laughs> no, but I did, I did, I did think of a, a funny story. I have a, I have a, uh, I know, I know a person who's a crop duster pilot who, he flies crop dusters across. Oh, I'm thinking you're crop dusting in a. I mean, uh, same, same concept. Just but in, wafting in your car, just enjoying your own fucking. <laughs> same concept. Sag- like what the hell? But you know, like load, you know, loading the loading the pesticides in the airplane, flying an airplane, like literal crop dusting, right? <laughs> Wait, pesticides <laughs> was, was talking, in an airplane. He was talking about, and he sprays fields. That's what they. That's how they. Oh, you know farm life, Arkansas. Farm life. Got it. My people. <laughs> okay. Well, he he was telling me one I'm time. I'm thinking of a guy with the pesticide thing on an airplane, like you know, getting the bugs. Out. Okay. Close. <laughs> but he was he was telling me about one time how he he fell asleep, and because they work these guys really really, hard. it's a really really hard job. Does he still have the job? Uh, yes, he does. But he just he woke up and he was 20 miles off course. <laughs> what the fuck was he crop dusting? <laughs> he just. <laughs> Cause when you, cause when you do that job, you wake up at like three in the morning and like the second that it's light enough to fly that plane, you're in the plane and you were flying all day, all day, all day, all summer. I didn't know and that he, was such an intense job. It, it is an intense job. And, he, mm. and he, he, he told me one time he, he fell asleep and was 20 miles off. And off he's course. still employed, right? He's still employed. He, the, you only do that once one way or another. Yeah. Cause it probably scares you the either, fucking you, shit out of you. Or you die. Those are, mm. those are your two options, Mm-mm-mm. but he didn't die. Thankfully he's so, good. I saw, but, I, but my, when he told me that story, my eyes like were this big. So anytime like, you drive, you're focused now. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, all right, eyes on the road. So yeah. that's good. That's a good, like thinking time when you're driving. Yeah. Sometimes I find myself driving in silence or I'm just putting on like a tune that I can just blare out, you know, it depends on the day I'm having. Am I yeah. having a good day? Sad day? Am I want to be like, listen, depressed music? Like what the hell am I putting on? Am yeah. I in my, you know, uh, Snoop Dogg day or Drake or country? Like, I don't fucking know. It just See, depends. You've on been, you've been, you've been in music now long enough to like, there is that do you ever get tired of listening to music do you, hell no no it's see like, see well, that, that's the that's the difference and i think i think a lot of songwriters and a lot of artists will just be like i'm musicked out i need to not music and they'll mm-hmm. listen to podcasts that has never came to or, my fucking or mind or whatever and it's like it it's a thing like i've just now kind of like had to dive back into music that i don't even know again like just like Putting on playlists of like random I stuff. I wanna push you around. Well, well I, I will. will. Well, I will. Matchbox Twenty. That yeah, is my dude. go-to. That's yeah. a that's an all-time <laughs> that's an all-time album right there. I I didn't even know that was a thing. You know what I do as soon as I turn uh, wake up? Uh, we talked about this. I start my coffee. I put on Vivo. Oh yeah. Music videos. I love that. Pop 2K or country Pop music. Pop 2K, that's a good mm-hmm. one too. I was listening to Britney Spears this morning, getting ready. Come you know, feeling on. like my 13 year old, you know, 13 year old self again, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, it seems like you're just doing the damn thing and every, and you know, I'm happy to meet you and like see you grow as an artist, you know. It seems like you're just doing the fucking damn thing. Thank you. We're trying. So, who's your, uh, who's your dream person who's, to go on tour with? <sighs> uh, John Mayer. Yeah. Yeah. That's my dude. <laughs> Willie. Oh, she has her thing. Don't we wake up to John Mayer every morning? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's that song? Slow dancing in a burning oh. room. Yeah. Every morning, man. Every morning. Every fucking morning. I love you, John Mayer. Did you go watch him at the at the acoustic show when he played Bridgestone a few weeks ago? No, I fucking did not. Thank you for fucking I might have, I might have got teary when he played in the blood. I won't lie. Teary, really? Is yeah. he as, as good as he is in concert? Oh yeah. He's he's brilliant. He's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Okay, John Mayer. Yeah. Was I was it? in I was in high school when that first record came out. It, like I did not listen to music the same after that. I just can't believe artists get musicked out. That's fucking wild to me. That's fucking wild to me. I can never you, get musicked you, out. Think about it. You like we make it constantly, all the time. Like True. We, all, we all write, we all write a hundred songs a year, right? So it's like, like how it's hard to not listen to music and be critical about it, you know? And think about like, mm-hmm. ah, that sucks, or or why did he put a bridge right there? That's terrible, or. 
you know, it's like it's like a contract. Listen, I have no at idea what the fuck house. you're saying when you say bridge and all <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. I will promote the fuck out of some yeah. music, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Fair enough. No idea. You give me a song, I'll promote the thing. But when yeah. you go into like you know Ner- the terminology, song- songwriting nerd out. Mode. Yeah, nerd out. Like yeah. I what? Yeah. No, I have no idea. Okay. That's okay. I played the violin for like one year. Uh, didn't really go so well, but I, I wish see I you kept... fancy. Mm-hmm. I could play hot cross buns. Hot cross ah, buns on the violin. Ah, I ah. thought that. Was, I thought that was more a recorder song. Nope, that's what I learned. <laughs> hot cross buns. No, I just you know I love promoting music, and I think you know that's just how we got here. You know today and all that. Well, I for one am glad you're here doing it. Oh well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for promoting my music. Well, well duh, you're about to serenade me uh, in in our next segment. Let's go. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I want to wrap this up. It's just like a fucking pleasure to get to know you, and I cannot wait to see where you go from here. What's the next move, dude? The next move we're gonna we're gonna play put out Candy some, Land. Play, <laughs> play some Candy Land later on before I leave LA tomorrow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna put out some alternate versions of the songs that that are on the album, and then um, got a Christmas song coming that's gonna be coming this Ooh. this late, later in the fall. And Love then, yeah, me. just doing the thing. Just Love writing, writing still writing songs for other folks and, yeah. But, and that leads me to another thing. Uh, you wrote some fucking amazing songs with some of my favorite artists. Yeah. Can I see your phone real quick? Uh, no. Just real quick. I just got to check something. <laughs> Can I just, just, te- oh, just one second. That's Absolutely all I not. need. That's all I fucking need. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Absolutely fucking not. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, uh, so that has to be fucking cool as shit too, right? Yeah, because I mean, just like I said, I never, I never knew that that was a thing. You know, right. I, I thought I, I was like everybody else. I just thought that everybody wrote their own songs. Mm-hmm. So that's what nope. you did. Mm-mm, I learned that too. I was and like, and the thing, but it's not like one or the other. It's like artists write their own songs or not. It's like. All writers, are, all artists are trying to write their own songs, but also they're trying to make the best records they can make. So they, so they find songs from from They've, all the songwriters. They they find mm-hmm. the best songs because they want to make the best record they can make. And mm-hmm. um, so when I got to town and started like understanding the dynamic of that and getting to see my songs get placed on records, that was really, really yeah. I cool. bet that was wild. That was wild. I bet it was wild. Yeah. Can I please see your phone? <laughs> <laughs> After this, I swear I'm gonna tackle him and come get his phone. Get okay, come, somebody come get her <laughs> and sign yeah. this. And sign this. Uh, he signed some paperwork, right? When he came in the door, right? No. Yeah. yeah, that allows me to go through his fucking phone. <laughs> Dimps is obligated to have all your all access contacts. to your phone, okay? Uh, so that's just, I am absolutely happy for you. I was just absolutely amazed. I actually went and looked at some songs that you wrote and everything. I was like, wow, holy fuck. Maybe Dimps should try writing a song with somebody. I think somebody. you should. Do it. You want to write a song after this? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, we should. Okay. Uh, pro- talking about cats and whiskey. And pickles. Cats and whiskey. And I've been saying this. No cr- 